They say you can't fit a round peg into a square hole. They're wrong. You can, you just don't get any points for it. And no one knows that better than this guy. This is Peter Packer HD. I mean, that's, that's the name of his game. His name is just Peter Packer. The HD part refers to the, you know, the resolution of the graphics. He's not a doctor or anything. Peter Packer HD is an iPad game that's a lot like those wooden toys you played with when you were a kid. The one with the cube that has holes cut into it and you have to fit the right shapes into the right holes. As strange as it may seem to say a video game is based on the concept of an old children's toy, this isn't a first. The Rugu games are actually based on the same principles, only Peter Packer picks his pieces a little differently. I was, uh, I was actually gonna use a different adverb there, one that starts with P, but I couldn't come up with one, and that's a real tragedy. So, if you can figure one out that is also a synonym for differently, you know, insert there. The game takes place on a conveyor belt with three chutes. You play by dragging the appropriate pieces to their appropriate holes, uh, matching the color and shape. You have to fling every single package into a chute though. If you let one slide by or you make an incorrect match, you lose a chance. You lose all three chances and Peter Packer is given a pink piece of paper. And see, that's what I was trying to do before. But again, I need an adverb, people. Come on! Peter Packer HD takes full advantage of the iPad's unique interface and that it plays entirely by touch. You're flinging shapes and dragging your fingers all over the glass and the game picks it all up. Games like this are great examples of what touch has contributed to the gaming landscape. But the most impressive thing is how well Peter Packer implements multi-touch. The game allows you to throw packages in combination with others, so you're often using multiple fingers and dragging in multiple directions, and it all works. In fact, if you're good, you can even do a three-finger combination. And that's like, seriously, you'd have to be an alien or something to pull that off. And that's how sophisticated video games are becoming. Human beings can't even play them anymore due to the lack of of necessary appendages. This is a brand new game from Click Gamer and our good friends over at Chilingo, and it's available on both iOS devices. But if you can choose between the two, I'd go with this iPad version, if only because the large screen offers more real estate for all the touching and flicking. But either way, Peter Packer is a fun little game. It's challenging, and although there aren't a lot of modes, there is a series of challenge-based missions to complement the main game and for you to brush up on your skills. And believe me, you'll need them to be as brushed up as possible in the tough working environment of Peter Packer HD. Three fingers. You gotta be kidding me!